Oh my god, look at this. It's getting so long already. We're gonna leave it all the way. All the way. Huge. Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. How are you doing today? It's been a minute since we saw each other. Actually, it's been two weeks. My channel is dying. Why you do this? Why you put this? It's not necessarily that I don't want to make videos or anything because I love doing this. It's super fun for me. Uh, it's just in the last few months, man, this pain that I've been having, this chronic pain has just killed all of my motivation. And it's been just so hard to get into it or just to just sit down and think of ideas to create. Because, uh, you know, you're like, oh, pain, pain, get up, get up. Don't sit in your chair. So it's been a real struggle. I'm just waiting for this damn pandemic to be over so I can go outside to another country, a properly developed country, and get proper help there. And hopefully they're gonna know what's up because these people right here, they have no idea. Not only that, but I've been having also some personal issues that in the last few weeks that I, I don't really wanna get into, but it doesn't really matter uh, because these things that happened to me lately made me think about stuff, about what I want in life. And I wanna share it with you. So what I thought about is sometimes just knowing what you want in life or your passion is more important than anything else, basically. Let me give you an example here. It might not be that good, but just go along with me. In the last few weeks, and not last few weeks, actually, kind of ever since I started my YouTube channel, I always get these messages from people asking me, hey, Ed, what programming language should I learn? Hey, Ed, is it worth getting into programming? Oh, I want a good paying job, blah, 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 blah. All right, stuff like that. And I've been thinking to myself, I, I noticed so many people that are like this, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, uh, but I'm just thinking to myself, how are these people gonna continue doing this and then actually get good at it and enjoy it? Because I always had the mentality of, oh, you know what? I want to build out a shop, a shop website. That, that would be so exciting. So like that would be my main focus, right? Just building something fun out. Not what programming language should I learn or stuff like that. Because I see a lot of people that they just learn programming languages, but they have no idea what to build. So then what's the point? I mean, yeah, you can get hired. And if you're happy with that and you find a programming job and you just build other people's stuff out, that's perfectly fine. No judgment. If you're happy with that, good for you. Um, but for me personally, like I always just wanted to build stuff out. So it came very easy and naturally of what, you know, what it takes to build that thing out, right? I want to build a shopping website. Okay, well, I need the back end. Okay, let's choose this. I need to put text on the screen and images. Okay, I need HTML for that. Okay, so I just learned those things and kind of put it together and then boom, I have my project, right? But if you, yeah, if you're like, I don't know, I just want to learn a programming language because everybody else wants to or they, they use something that's super popular or whatever and they end up learning it and then they're in this weird zone where they kind of know programming language but they have no idea what, how to continue or what to do. And I see this a lot, not only in programming, but everywhere in life. Uh, I, I do photography sometimes when I have time, uh, but you see like a lot of people that just spend so much time on which camera is better? Is this camera better? This camera better? Okay, which lens? And they like search for lenses and they spend one year, two years just looking at gear and stuff, but they never actually end up going outside and taking pictures of something. And then you have a really good photographer that's super passionate about what, what he's doing. And then he just takes his phone and takes better pictures because he actually enjoys and has passion to go out and do something with it, right? So, so again, this kind of applies everywhere where a lot of people are stuck doing this. And I don't want to say that you might not be passionate about that certain thing, but really think about it. Like really think about why you jumped in doing this. Were you passionate about it or did you just enjoy the convenience of staying at your desk and programming or the, the job or like how much it pays or stuff like that? Um, again, if you did it just because it pays well and it's comfortable, <laughs> no judgment for real. Like 
perfectly fine. And that's why it's really hard for me to actually do more web development videos because in my mind, I feel like I've done whatever I wanted to do. I built out the stuff that I really wanted to build out. So now there's nothing left for me. There's nothing exciting left for me to do. So recently <laughs> I acquired a VR headset, right? And I tried some games on it and I was blown away. And the first thought that came to my head was, oh my God, I wish I could build out some games for this. Like just imagine fun stuff that I can do uh, and build out worlds and stuff, right? So this motivated me even more to do game development now, even though I, I already planned on doing it and stuff like that, but it just pushed me more to do it, okay? It's not that I discovered Unity or that you know, game development jobs pay well or whatever. It's just, I discovered something, a little passion somewhere and I'm trying to pursue it. And then the other things come along with it, learning the technologies and whatever, whatever, right? So, okay, rambling on way too much, but what I'm trying to say is uh, just really spend more time on finding the passion, the thing that you're passionate about, because that will actually speed up your learning process and to actually achieve what you want to achieve in life. Whatever it is, again, it doesn't matter if it's not programming, but really take the time to do that. I know I spent so much time just trying out so many different things, but not actually being passionate about it. And I don't want to say I wasted time because I learned a lot of valuable lessons, but you end up going nowhere. You're just stuck. I remember I learned, oh my God, what was it? Flutter, right? For app development. Because I thought that it would be cool to do app development. I had no idea what I wanted to do with it or what app I want to do. And it, I wasn't even passionate about it. So I just spent months learning Flutter. I I don't know how to write a line of Flutter anymore. But I, I just tried it because it was really popular back then. So really think about it because it's better not to just waste a bunch of time pursuing something that is just popular right now or you see people on Reddit talk about it. Okay, so please keep that in mind. I also noticed that there's kind of two categories of people. There's person number one that likes stability and just find something and do that for the rest of your life or for the majority of your life. And they're kind of happy doing that. Uh, they feel like it's financially stable as well. And it's just more relaxing and you get really good at it. You can kind of do it on autopilot. And there's category number two, which I categorize myself as, is kind of more crazy. You get really excited about something, you jump in it, you end up doing it for maybe a few years or whatever, and then you find something else that's even more exciting, or you might get bored of the thing that you're doing, and then you jump into something new, right? So that's kind of how I am as a person. I kind of do what I want to do. I discover something. I do it a lot and then eventually I find, find something new, like the VR headset, right? I'm like, whoo, I get passionate about building games out or something, right? So I, I wanna jump into that. Now, the, the bad thing about this can be that, hey, I might do something else and it, kinda, it, it might not make me money or it might not work out the way I expected it to. Uh, but it's exciting and that's, that's enough for me personally. So I think it's very important to know how you are as a person because that's gonna help you determine um, help you a lot in life when you jump into things. Now that I think about it, I don't think any of this made any sense, but hopefully you learned something fun. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Also check out the programming courses I have below. I have one on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. I will be making more in the future as soon as I get better. I, I have the design course planned out and I'm ready to jump in, but it's gonna have to wait a bit, all right? So I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful time. And until next time, I'm gonna vanish. This is a new magic trick I learned, watch this.